Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Windows Hello for Business policy or how we can enable that policy from Microsoft Intune, right? So that is pretty straightforward and uh, that policy is going to be enabled one time and that is going to be used across the organization for users, right? So that is the uh, configuration we would be using for uh, situations or the passwordless authentication enablement, right? So we have seen that and we are he hearing a lot about passwordless authentication since long back and it's almost um, more than a year now that companies are moving out of the passwords methods or password authentication methods and adopting the passwordless authentication methods, right? Instead of using passwords, we would be using uh, Windows Hello for Business as it, ha it has a gestures like uh, thumb, thumb uh, gesture as well as facial recognitions as well as it is going to simply uh, identify the person by using the face, right? And basis on all those different recognition types or different gesture types, we can use the Windows Hello for Business, right? So that is more or more on the passwordless authentication instead of using uh, passwords, which is which is a traditional method to provide or provide the authentication on user access on application level, a system level, or any service, be it cloud service or any service that can be integrated with it, right? So that was the bit of. Uh, context about it and let's jump on so I'll show you how we can configure it so here I'm on Intune portal and click on devices here and under devices we can simply click on Windows here or we can click on enrollment option here and then once we are here on this page we have option which is Windows Hello for business right which says that I replace passwords with a strong two-factor authentication, right? So this is going to replace the password. Instead of using passwords, it is going to simply use the gestures and let people use it for authentication and login to the devices and applications, right? So I'm going to show you how we can enable that and then how we can uh, make sure that is being used as authentication method for the organization, right? So click on this one. So this is Windows Hello for Business. You can see uh, it's a part of Windows enrollment method. And this way we can enable it, right? So this is going to be pretty straightforward. You can see here, uh, which is a name of that. And there are two settings here to configure for us. One is for configure Windows Hello for Business and second is use security keys for sign-ins. Right, so mostly this would be used in most cases and the second which is use security keys for sign-in won't be used so it is totally depend on the requirement of the organization or the company, right? So let me show you how we can enable this. So once you click on this small pop up here, we see enable and disable buttons or options. So if I click on enable, I see a bunch of options here to configure, right? But if I select the disable, it is simply not going to uh, enable this policy at all. Even if we have all other options showing up there. And in order to enable this one, we need to make sure enabled is selected and is selected one there, right? And next you see there are different options. So the first option says use trusted platform module, which is TPM, which is something which is been uh, pushed or uh, put on the devices which is a device mechanism to authenticate and authorize the device access by using the windows hello for business and that is when this configuration is going to be pushed and supported on that so that is when we see the options either we wanted to select it as a required one or we wanted to keep it as a preferred so it's always be, always uh, put this in the preferred method in most cases uh, it would be required because if we as an organization know what are the devices types that we have 
and if all the devices are appropriate with the right set of configurations on it with including TPM versions which is 2.0 and more then it is going to work as expected if it has at least less version of TPM then maybe there would be problems with that because it is not going to work on it <coughs> so that is when we can select it as a prefer preferred means it is going to work as as per the device current configurations and we don't need to upgrade the devices on a hardware level right so for now i'll go i'll select required here and we can go ahead with other settings so other settings you can see a minimum pin length how many or what is the minimum length we wanted to set up of the pin so this is the default one for minimum and maximum but we can set up as a requirement let's say i wanted to set it to four i can set it four or i wanted to set it for eight minimum right so i can do that as well and the maximum is up to 127 right this is why we can go ahead and change it if in case we don't want it to keep that long right and then also we have lowercase uppercase and special characters included so we can put that all together as well so there are also allow and required options for us allowed means it is going to let people do that or let people use lowercase upper uppercase and special characters in the pin setup and if we select the required that means there is a must requirement right user cannot move without that special or lower or upper characters in the pin itself right so they need to put that together and then it is going to uh, work as expected and the next is pin expiration days so how many days or when this pin we want it to be expired so we can set up to two years of time period from day one or maybe if we don't want we can set it to never we don't want that pin to be expired at all right so this way we can set up and we can configure it as as per need right so why we wanted to change the pin again right so pin is something which which is going to be either six digit or maybe eight digit or as i as i discussed in the previous or other settings it has uh, special characters lowercase and uppercase right so we can set those all as well but it totally depends on how we wanted to expire or uh, reset the pins and then users can uh, keep those pins safe and secure right so for now i'm going to set it to let's keep it for 60 days something like that so i'll keep it for 55 days and there are other pins or other settings which is remember pin history so how long pin history we wanted to remember as if if the user is trying to change the pin then we wanted to remember the last 50 pins so that user should always use something unique and different and they should not use the same pin again and again and that is when this option is going to help us to prevent that and make sure user keeps something stronger and different pin always so that that is not easy to guess and no one can easily uh, use it or maybe try to use that device right also the next option is allow biometric authentication this is something very useful uh, when we wanted to set up windows hello for business right so biometric can be used to log into the devices with their biometric they can simply touch their biometric on the biometric pad on the devices and then simply they can log into the device they don't need to enter the pin as well as the password at all and they would be able to get into the device and access applications and resources so this is very important to do that or enable that the next is use enhanced anti-spoofing when available this means that uh, on the device level there are anti spoofing and signature antivirus signature profiles or as well as the signatures are being deployed by intune along with 
when the Microsoft is pushing latest updates every month as well as quarterly updates and half yearly updates. So all those security updates along with antivirus and anti spoofing. So those updates are also being deployed, right? And that is when we are making those anti spoofing capabilities enabled with this policy or this configurations from Intune side so that if there are something malicious activities or actions are happening, then it is going to simply capture and prevent those as well. And the next is allow phone sign in. So by setting up this, it is simply going to let users use their phones in order to log into the devices as well, right? So this is going to simply let them use and as soon as user tries to log in, they will get a pop up and notification saying that you are trying to log into this device and you will be able to access this, right? So this is way we can set it to yes or no. And this is also going to help improve the user experience instead of uh, pushing it out or maybe disabling it out, right? And the next is enable enhanced sign in security. So this means that we get two options there, which is enable sign in security will be enabled on the system with capable hardware. And the second one is sign in security will be disabled on all the systems. So either of these options can be selected basis on our sign in security experience in order to see how users are accessing the device as well as the their access is working and it is going to simply keep a record of user access levels across the organizations right so i'm going to show uh, select first one here so that we wanted to enable that one across the organizations for each and every identity right and the last option here is use security keys for sign-ins so here are two options one is enabled and second is disabled if i enabled uh, we would be able to use security keys which is going to be uh, either it could be security uh, software keys or hardware keys right so those would be a kind of software or hardware tokens which includes or which has a security key in it and we can use those uh, keys to log into the device log into the applications and use those services over the devices so for now i'm going to keep it not configured because i don't have anything as of now to test that one and i'm not going to enable that but this is also really helpful capability of windows help for business and this can also be used in that way right so yeah that is all for this uh, policy as well as these configurations and hope you will like it please do like share and subscribe also do share the video and the content with your friends colleagues and your community right and let them learn something new different right and yeah that's all for this video thanks for watching